We all need to be publishing, we need to be teaching, we need to be doing research, we need to be writing grants, right? All of it is a lot in itself. For me to publish, one of the things that I love the most about science is that I can study, I can test possibilities, I can understand and, and study a particular method that will allow me to, in a very sophisticated way, explore a research question. And all of it at times is expedited because we need to publish a paper, because we need to rush to meet a grant deadline. And that's when, you know, the whole joy sometimes can be, we may not enjoy as much because what we love the most, what I love the most, perhaps I do not have enough time to stay in that position. And recently I've been, I was exploring different research possibilities. There was, as we all know, this huge COVID pandemic. And I was asked with other colleagues to join a task force to help guide public health action in the state of Texas in Harris County as part of the response to the pandemic. And that was a deviation from my field, which I dedicated time very passionately because I thought this is my chance to help provide some little help to this big problem. But then here is what I understand more and more about the pressure of work. It's in science and it's everywhere. We are pressured to deliver. But once we are attracted and moved by something, by beauty, let's say, I'm using beauty here, but it's something that I cannot quite quantify. But once that dynamic takes place that I was mentioning before, we do not want to do for less. The question of, you know, how many papers, very often I find myself longing for those moments of beauty that come when I stay in front of my problem a little longer, when I have more time to brainstorm with my colleagues, when I have more time to brainstorm with my research team, when we are allowing ourselves to explore some possibilities, that longing is there kind of calling me back to a position in which I'm just not only having to publish this, all these manuscripts in a year, but I'm here because I've been in a way moved and I want to be moved again. I don't know if I am quite fully getting to the core of your question, but what helps me is to have that experience of being, of grasping a little bit more of reality. And when I find myself in a place where I'm not growing, where I am not learning, where I'm not providing my best contribution to my work, to my students, immediately a sadness comes to place. And I have to rediscover within this new world and all this pressure, what is really moving me right now? 